do it. Uh, so I'm gonna avoid telling you how much I enjoyed the experience, how great the movie is, and how much I love all the people who are gonna come out here. Uh, even though it could possibly be true. Um, you know, I don't know how many of y'all know about Hank Williams, and Pierce gave a wonderful uh, introduction to him as a, as a person and character, but um, Bob Dylan said of, of Hank that he was his world, he was the greatest influence on him for the longest period of time, Bob Dylan. And he also said he thought he was one of the world's greatest songwriters. So when I decided to take on uh, the idea of writing and directing a film about Hank Williams with that in my mind, I, I thought about it and I thought, I realized I was sort of like the guy who was asked to translate War and Peace for Tolstoy. Uh, it's, I knew I couldn't get it all exactly right. I couldn't get every period and paragraph in exactly the right spot, but I would do my very, very best to make it as authentic and true and, and true to the story believing that if you can find the essence of the man, that you can and try to tell the truth. So I'm gonna uh, bring out a, a, a couple of people, I'm gonna introduce a few people, and, and then bring out some people that you'd rather see than me. Um, and I know that, so you have to feel shy about that. I'm certain about it. Um, what I'm gonna say is, after that's all done, and these lights go down, and this is a great place, and beautiful sound, and I, I love the Ryerson. The lights go down, I'm gonna ask one thing of you, just, Sit back and let us take you back in time and let us take you back to a special place and how the weather was and to listen to the, the music and, and the sound of one of the greatest songwriters in the world and just kind of let it wash over you. So uh, with that, I'd like to just uh, thank some people very, very quickly. I'd like to thank the producers, uh, Aaron Gilbert, a Toronto native. <laughs> jumped right in, he read the script, said I'm gonna help you do this movie, and he meant it, and he was there every second of the way, and he, he's, a, he's a gentleman and, and a fine producer. Uh, G. Mark Roswell, a guy I've known far too long, very <laughs> long time. Uh, he, he stood side by side, and he was right there with me. Brett Ratner, who I don't know if Brett's here right now, but the best thing about Brett is 16 years ago, I produced a movie for Brett, really good movie made called Family Man, and now he turns around and produced a movie for me. So sometimes you hear people aren't that loyal in Hollywood, but in fact, it turned out to be the opposite. So, um, did I leave that Oh, myself, I did that there. Um, <laughs> when you have a baby, and that's what a movie is in some form, although I have five other ones for real, when you have a baby, you want it, you take it out and you take off its swaddling clothes and you put it into the universe and you ask somebody to take care of it. And sometimes you can get really lucky, and this time we got really lucky because there's a company that has been known to look after the babies. Look after the babies of some of the greatest directors in the world, whether it's Ingmar Bergman or Mo Bar or Woody Allen, and that's Sony Classics. They're the real deal, and, and all of your film bots know that, and that's uh, Tom Bernard and Michael Barker, and very, I, well, I just couldn't be happier to have them here. Now, we have a couple of people I'm gonna bring out here. The first thing I'm gonna bring out here is I'm gonna bring out three guys who backed up Hank. Uh, as uh, Michael Barker just said, they don't look like cowboys tonight. But uh, they do play cowboys. Two of them have been in movies before, but maybe just a couple of uh, touch. And one of them still works in a guitar store. That's the guy I'm gonna bring out now. He plays Don Holmes. That's Wesley Long. Actual musicians, they really play. And let's have Joshua Brady come on out here. Please <laughs> come on out. And uh, Casey Bond. Casey, come on out. He's very good. and as intelligent as she is, she's that much more impressive in terms of her talent. And as amazing of a talent that she is, she's one of the truest, most honest people that I've ever known and one of the most just warmest and 
hard work and serious people, but it was a it was a blessing and a pleasure to have been able to have the opportunity to work with, with Elizabeth Olson. spilled so much blood and sweat and tears into the soil of Louisiana, the northern Louisiana, in the middle of the summer, into the fall, giving you everything he possibly could give, and always wanting to give more. There's nothing I can really say about his performance, or what I do, because I want you all to enjoy it and, and to appreciate it. As a man I was in the foxhole with every single day, and I'll tell you something, I would never want to go into battle with anybody besides this guy right by my side, and that's uh, Tom Hilton.